Good evening, members of the board and cabinet. This is the site plan presentation for Linda Elementary. Patrick O'Brien is the principal and I, Michael Garcia, am the assistant principal speaking on behalf of Linda School. We are looking forward to establishing and maintaining relationships with the Blue Zones Project, Say Love, and Lynnhurst High School FFA by bringing healthy choice awareness and agricultural knowledge to our campus. Through our work with Say Love, we have been able to establish an after-school garden club. We have a diverse population of students with 88% socioeconomically disadvantaged and 23% English learners representing the largest subgroups in our school. CASP projected scores show improvement in three out of the four grades tested. We will continue to use our intervention teacher and our PLC process to identify and support student needs. Math is one of the areas we need to pay attention to. Three of the four subgroups showed a decline in scores. To help students, we will implement IXL, an online adaptive computer program to use for interventions school-wide. Our attendance numbers have improved quite a bit. 11% fewer chronically absent students and a 2.5% increase in daily attendance. We are very proud of our improved discipline numbers. 110 less suspensions, 55 less students suspended, that's 8.2% fewer students, and 168 less days of suspension when compared to 2022-2023 school year. Our universal screening data shows grades 1, 4, and 6 demonstrated a yearly growth of 14%, 10%, and 10% respectively. With two brand new teachers last year, ECRI seems to be having a positive impact. There were some increases in our math growth with the Universal Screener, but we have to do better. So, we will look at instructional practices, bring in district math coaches to provide support, and implement a new math intervention program. We had 7% of our EL students score a level 4 on the LPAC and are ready to be reclassified in the 2024-25 school year. What is just as exciting is the 33% of our students are at level 3 on the LPAC. These students are on the cusp of moving to level 4 and reclassification. Our overall data at a glance is a mixed bag. We have some success in some areas, such as suspension and increase in ELA, but we do have some improvements to be made in math and science. Now let's look at the actions we are taking this year. We implemented use of an intervention teacher, ECRI training, and used our LRT to provide additional time for AR testing and book exchange. Moving forward, we want to implement the IXL math intervention program and use a teacher planning day to support our students and families. We want all students to feel safe, so we are going to use our counselor and wellness facilitator to support student needs. We are also bringing in a PBIS coach to help us get our practices and procedures to become fully implemented as demonstrated on our next tiered fidelity inventory in spring of 2025. To prepare our students for college and career, they need to be in school, so we will use our attendance team to track and take necessary steps to support our families with school attendance. To meet the needs of our English learner population, we will use our EL facilitator to language learning support for students and staff will receive ELD professional development. 
To improve homeschool partnerships, we will communicate with families in a number of ways, the goal being increased parent-family participation at the site. Improving access and inclusion for special education students is imperative. Our learning goal is to improve by 10 points on the distance from standard measurement. We supported three Girls on the Run teams in the spring, and we enjoyed a very successful color run and several PTC activities to increase awareness and participation. And finally, here is our budget summary for our 2024-2025 school year we will be using CSI to address immediate needs. Thank you for your time, and I will now answer any questions you may have.